Hurricane Delta now a Category 3 hurricane, and it will have impacts and some new impacts to Alabama as we move into the weekend. You can see wind speeds right now 115 miles per hour, a well-defined center of circulation. We call this the eye of the storm. So as we're tracking Delta, already providing a slew of watches and warnings from coastal Texas through Louisiana and even West Mississippi. Alabama, well, the coast not being warned for right now. Favorable conditions aren't really favorable for any tropical development there. Uh, probably some increased rip current, but here's the important story. This is likely to remain a major hurricane at Category 3 with winds upwards of 100 to 120 miles per hour as it moves inland into Louisiana Friday afternoon. And then early Saturday, Cat 1 storm through central Louisiana, tropical storm as it bears into Mississippi and then as it makes its way towards northwest Alabama. It will likely be a tropical depression at that point. But being on the eastern side of this, we're going to have some rainfall. And not only that, but we could see a few spin-up tornadoes possible. That's why we now are under a marginal risk. Now on a scale of 1 to 5, this is on our lower end. But it means the threat is not a non-zero. Winds upwards of 60 miles per hour, heavy rain at times. Could be some isolated flooding, especially west of I-65. The center of that storm tracks to the north, and then it begins to veer off to the east. Friday afternoon, landfall expected around 7 8 o'clock Friday night, but you can see these outer bands beginning to develop thir uh, Saturday early in the morning, and that's where these isolated storms that could produce those spin-up tornadoes will be. I think the threat for us will start Saturday late morning, continuing through the afternoon with these waves of rain and also some of these embedded storms. It could be a little bit stronger late Saturday night.